get a lot of questions about combining plants for the landscape. It's really not that difficult. Let me share some ideas for a sunny landscape bed of summer color. Today we're at the Mississippi State Trial Gardens and let's start with a tough plant that loves the heat of the summer, Melampodium. It's no wonder it was named a Mississippi Medallion winner in 1997 with non-stop blooming and no deadheading from summer until frost. It literally bursts forth with golden yellow daisy star-like flowers. There are several varieties to choose from, like jackpot gold and million gold. Purslane is popular because it thrives in our high summer temperatures. This selection is called Cupcake Cherry Baby and is covered with large cherry red flowers all summer. Purslane may be one of those perfect full sun color annuals. To many gardeners, marigolds are just those ordinary flowers, but I don't think these are ordinary, being topped with huge orange pom-pom double flowers. There are several selections in this bed, with the tallest being Jedi Orange at nearly four feet tall, and the shortest being Bindi Orange that is right around two feet tall. In the center, Arizona Sunset Black-Eyed Susan Vine is being trained to grow up these supports. They quickly grow up, but a closer look reveals a surprise. It's forming a dense mat. I'm thinking Black-Eyed Susan Vine might make a fine ground cover. Planting a summer landscape bed is as easy as grouping plants that had the same growth characteristics. I'm horticulturist Gary Bachman, and I'll see you next time on Southern Gardening.